Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself and your way of thinking. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. Death smiles at us all. All we can do is smile back. The sayings of Marcus Aurelius are able to reveal the inexhaustible energy in everyone and teach how, with the help of simple thoughts, you can rule over yourself and lead your life. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Do what you will. Even if you tear yourself apart, most people will continue doing the same things. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Everything, a horse, a vine, is created for some duty. For what task then were you yourself created? Reject your sense of injury and the injury itself disappears. Our life is what our thoughts make it. The memory of everything is very soon overwhelmed in time. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Whoever does wrong, wrongs himself. Whoever does injustice, does it to himself, making himself evil. If any man despises you, that is his problem. Your only concern should be in doing or saying anything deserving of contempt. How ridiculous and unrealistic is the man who is astonished at anything that happens in life. Observe always that everything is the result of change and get used to thinking that there is nothing nature loves so well as to change existing forms and make new ones like them. Take full account of what excellencies you possess, and in gratitude remember how you would hanker after them if you had them not. Regain your senses, call yourself back, and once again wake up. Now that you realize that only dreams are troubling you, view this reality as you view your dreams. No man can escape his destiny, the next inquiry being how he may best live the time that he has to live. Because a thing seems difficult for you, do not think it impossible for anyone to accomplish. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. That which is really beautiful has no need of anything, not more than law, not more than truth, not more than benevolence or modesty. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. It is in your power to withdraw yourself whenever you desire. Perfect tranquility within consists in the good ordering of the mind, the realm of your own. 
The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. How much time he gains who does not look to see what his neighbor says or does or thinks, but only what he does himself to make it just and holy. Here is a rule to remember in future. When anything tempts you to feel bitter, not this is misfortune, but to bear this worthily is good fortune. Do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you while you live, while it is in your power. Be good. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny for what could more aptly fit your needs. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. The longer a man is lonely, the more he can draw on the influence of loneliness on him. It is important for every person to be able to remain alone and put up with himself in order to find inner peace. Your days are numbered. Use them to throw open the windows of your soul to the sun. If you do not, the sun will soon set and you with it. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Be like the cliff against which the waves continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. Humans have come into being for the sake of each other, so either teach them or learn to bear them. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. What we cannot bear removes us from life. What remains can be born. No man is happy who does not think so for himself. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed, and you haven't been. Confine yourself to the present. Dig within. Within is the wellspring of good and it is always ready to bubble up if you just dig. People are not disturbed by things, but by the views they take of them. A man must stand erect, not be kept erect by others. We live only now, Everything else is either past or is unknown. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Receive without conceit, release without struggle. 
The thing you think about determines the quality of your mind. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. A person's worth is measured by the worth of what he values. Do every act of your life as though it were the very last act of your life. What we do now echoes in eternity. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. 